Welcome to this tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial, we'll see how to install RQDA on a Mac OS uh, version. Uh, I have got the Lion version. Uh, first of all, you have to know that I'm absolutely not a Mac uh, user. So I will uh, tell you how to install RQDA on Mac. I hope that uh, I will explain you uh, I will use the how to say the, the, the good way to install it but if you are uh, specialized about uh, Mac and you see that I've done uh, any mistake do not hesitate to to to, to comment uh, on on the wall so uh, like Windows and uh, Linux we have to do the installation in three steps first one is to install Arbase second one is to install RStudio IDE and the last one is to install RQDA so I will just show you my uh, my distribution, which is here. And now, uh, actually, what we will do is to install R. So we'll just go on Safari, and then uh, on Google we will write uh, R project, R project. Okay, and we click OK on here. And then we have somewhere to download. So we'll press download here. And here we have to choose a country. The country, uh, you choose the country in which you are or the country which is nearest to, to your country. This is just a question uh, to download it faster. As I'm in, as I'm in, in Switzerland, I will choose the, the link to, to Switzerland. So if you are in the States, for instance, uh, you just go to, 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 to the States uh, and so on and so on. So yeah, this is the States here. You have Vietnam, UK, Thailand, Taiwan, and so on and so on. So just choose your country and uh, then click on your country. And then choose the Mac OS X distribution. And then just choose the first one, the R 2.15.0 PKJ. So for sure, if uh, you are watching this video later, I'm recording this video the 22 of June 2012. But if you watch it later, you may have to download uh, an upgraded version. So anyway, it's just the same. So just click on the first one here. Then you have to wait until the download is finished. But actually, we'll just uh, download a couple of uh, of other tools. Uh, so we have to go to tools. So you go to subdirectory and tools. So I don't know if I was clear enough. Yeah, here it was the main page. And here you just go to subdirectories and you click on tools. And then you just download the two files, the two first file on tools, that's to say the G Fortran and the TCLTK. So you just download that one. So actually, uh, I'm asking you to download this one because I've checked how to install R on, uh, on Mac and I find some video with some people downloading this one. So I hope that this is uh, the good way to install R on Mac. Uh, I don't know if you don't install those two tools, if, it's, if it will work or not, but whatever, I've just installed it and it was working. So anyway, if you download for nothing, that's also not a big deal. So after that, you will just have to wait Yeah, you will just have to wait until you finish to download uh, the tree software. So, okay, I've downloaded the TCTKL is already done. I still need to wait for the G Fortran and for the R package. And first one, you will have to install the R package and then the two other ones. So I will just pause the video and go on later. Okay, so now everything is downloaded. So I will just install first the R uh, PKJ uh, by, by clicking on open. Then I just go to continue, uh, continue, continue. And I am agree with the license. Anyway, it's open source software, so it's okay. 
and then you can choose between install for all users or specific disk. So as I'm the only user, I will just choose that one, but anyway, you can choose what you want. Then I choose the, this one. Anyway, I just have one disk as you can see, and I will press on continue. Then uh, just press install. I need to enter the soft the, the password. Then I just wait until the installation is done. And after that, I will just install the G Fortran and the T uh, TCTLK. Okay, so first I will just install one by one. I will not install many things at the same time. Okay, so installation is successful. I close that one. Just go here and press on open. So it's the G Fortran. Then um, I don't know if uh, open yeah this this window uh, is opening is opening and I just right click and choose open with the default installer. Then I just go continue, continue, uh, continue. I agree. Install. Again, password. Then just waiting a couple of seconds. And after that, I will install the. Okay, that was quite quick. It was fast. And now I install the last one. Open. And now I just go to open, no, open with, sorry, and install a default. Because actually, if I just click on open, the pacifist will open, but I have no idea what's this pacifist, so I'm just choosing the default installer, so it's better, I think. Because the pacifist is asking me password, and I have no idea about the stuff. So just continue, 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 yeah, you see, it's quite easy, and install. And again, password and OK. So you will just need to wait a couple of seconds. It's very fast and then it's finished. And the second step is to install the, as I told you before, the R Studio. So I'm just going on Google and you can directly go to rstudio.org and just pressing on the main uh, website, just pressing on download. Then you choose the desktop uh, version, unless you are using servers, but I guess you are using a desktop version if you are at home. And then you just choose the recommended for your system. For sure, uh, now I recorded that video the 22 of June 2012, so it's the version 0.96.304. But if you are watching it later, so for sure it will be, uh, yeah, the version uh, is upgraded, I guess. So. Anyway, you just choose the recommended version. Then you just need to wait a bunch of seconds uh, in order to download our studios and after we'll install our studio. Okay, 10 seconds. Yeah, just wait a couple of seconds. And then we install our studio. So open. So just the installation is quite tough, but that's just one time. And after, for sure, you will not have to do a lot of things to launch RQDAs. It will be quite fast, so that's just the first time. And then you've got our studio here. I don't know, we click just two times and the software is already opening uh, alone. So from the internet, are you sure you want to open it? Yeah, I'm sure, open. And then I will just Right, cl uh, right click here and just let keep in dock the, yeah, this better because I will have the the logo on the dock station. Uh, okay, so the last step will be to install because now we've got our studio. 
So now uh, we'll install our RQDA. So to install RQDA, you just check RQDA on the package toggle here. So RQDA. Then just need to wait a couple of seconds. And I think I've got a window which open here. Okay, and now actually uh, the RQDA software is already open. But actually I have to tell you that on this uh, distribution, I guess that I already installed the, the, the GTK package. But usually the first time you will do that, when you press on RQDA, the software first will tell will ask you in which country you want to download the source from so just choose the country in which you stay the nearest or in the country you are so if i'm in switzerland i choose switzerland and after usually uh before to launch rqda he will ask you to install the gtk package so if that happened just install it and 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 choose the, the version install it and let the the install with dependency because you will have a small box and you have to check that if it's not checked and uh, it's very important to install gtk plus with the dependency uh, if you don't really understand i just invite you to follow the same french video uh, installation on, on mac os because on the french video uh, the software asked me to install the gtk plus and anyway even if you don't speak french uh, you just need to to, to look the, the video just follow the steps is very easy uh, okay, and now, yeah, now we've got everything, so I will just turn off uh, all the stuff. Uh, I don't know, Control W is not working to close, I don't know how to do that with Mac. Anyway, uh, now, just to, to, to launch the RQDA, it's every time the same story, just go to launch our studio first. And, uh, okay, so just uh, check on Don't Warn Me when opening application on the disk image if you don't want to see this annoying message coming every time so just do that and after just click on open and then okay first step was to 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 open our studio and second step to check check rqda you just need to wait as you can see uh the dba sqlite for r is uh the rqda is actually four packages and then if you don't see the windows uh yeah, usually the Windows is coming alone, but if you don't see it, just go to open it. So, as you can see, this is the, the RQDA for for R, uh, for, for Mac OS. So, it's working on the latest version. I don't know if it's working on the previous one. I guess it should be work. So, after, you can, uh, you can use RQDA exactly like on Linux or on Windows. Uh, on the other video, I will uh, show it on Windows, how to use the software, but actually it's 100% the same. So even if you are a Mac or a Linux user, you can watch the videos because the software is exactly working on the same way on all platforms. So thanks a lot for having uh, watched these videos. If you want to add something, do not hesitate to drop a comment or maybe to send me a uh, email to my address, which is here, kaliskan.metin at gmail.com. Thanks a lot for watching this video. Cheers.